what's more luxurious than your own private helicopter? Today I'm taking you inside the world's largest manufacturer of civil helicopters, Robinson Helicopter, and how they're taking flight to a whole new level. After working at two companies that denied his idea to create helicopters for the commercial market, Frank Robinson created Robinson Helicopters in 1973. He realized that um, all the other helicopter manufacturers, they focused on, on the military and nobody really focused on the commercial market. So he, he believed that if he broke away and, and, and focused on the commercial market, um, that, it, that there would be something there. He'd be able to sell helicopters. For six lean years, Frank developed his vision for a commercial helicopter from his house where Kurt grew up. Did you think as a teenager, oh my gosh, my dad's crazy? No, I didn't. I can't say that some of my friends didn't, you know, but uh, um, whatever he said he was going to do something, he always did it. So if he told me that he was going to go ahead and start this and, and, and design the R-22, and we'd been seeing the, uh, the drawings of it, so we really didn't have any, uh, any sense of why it, you know, why couldn't it be, you know? Today, Robinson Helicopters has nearly 1,000 employees, operates in a 600,000 square foot facility in California, and sells hundreds of helicopters a year to customers from around the world. We have three models, the R-22, which is a two-place, the original one, the R-44, which is a four-place helicopter, and now we have the, the new R-66, which is a five-place helicopter and it actually uses a turbine engine. From the raw material to the tiniest part, all the way to the finished assembly, uh, every step of the way is very important. So from the machinist to the mechanic, uh, just every part that they handle is incredibly important and uh, take great pride in uh, what they do. The R66, Robinson Helicopter's five-seater model, is sold out this year with 150 orders already placed. What makes this company so strong and distinct? Well, I think you have to first go to Frank, you know, my father. Uh, he, he set the tone, and it is an engineering company. Uh, when we have hired engineers, we really do look for the we look for the best and the brightest, and obviously we look for engineers that are really interested in aviation and the needs of the person out there, and then literally try and make certain that, that each of our aircraft can do it at different price points. 